Well, I called it. I knew putting the intake on wouldn't be as simple as plug and play, install and enjoy. So now, what do I do? I think it's time to dive in to learning how to tune the 86, rescale the MAP sensor, and get this car running again. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's quickly talk about the problem. I put this Perrin cold air intake on, and while it works great with a stock tune, I don't have the stock tune anymore. I'm running the Open Flash tablet with the Stage 2 Plus E85 tune right now, and the issue is, when you put the header on and we start changing timing values and all these other things, it doesn't work right. So I data logged the car and I found out that the car is running way rich, like almost one point richer. We're deep into the 11s under full throttle, and with the 85, that's completely wrong. And uh, the car hesitates, it hiccups, so I gotta change it. The cool thing is Open Flash Performance gives you all the tools you need to make these changes yourself. So unlike other tuning solutions, you're not locked in. So I'm going to dive into figuring out how the heck all this works. I've been tuning Mega Squirt ECUs for a really long time, but this is a little bit different of a beast. Mega Squirt's probably more like an abacus, and the 86 is more like the space station. So I have a lot to learn, but should be fun to figure this out. Let's go try. Okay, Open Flash Manager's up. Let's go to Upload Data, and we can find out what the calibration ID is for the ECU. In my case, the calibration ID is ZA1JK00C. That makes it really easy to figure out what I need to pick in ROM Raider for the definition and get to editing this tune file. All right, so let's add that definition from the folder. Now let's open up the image of the file we want to edit, which is that same ZA1JK00C. So when you first load up a tune, you'll get that error, which is a checksum. Just hit OK. Once you load the tune onto the tablet with the Open Flash Manager, it'll correct the checksum error, and that shouldn't be any problem. But always pay attention to any warnings that come up. You might miss something important, and um, that could end poorly for the car. So in the case of the parent intake, the map scaling has already been done and provided by parents. You can go to the FT86 Club forums or get the map scaling directly from Perrin and input that. It's about 57 points of data, so it's going to take a little bit of time to go through. Now that we have the correct definition file and the right ROM opened, I need to go to the mass sensor scaling right here, which is under mass airflow and engine load, and I get this wonderful chart I have to edit. Perrin's really awesome and they provide all of the MAF sensor scaling for their intake, so I just need to pull up my spreadsheet with that data and start inputting it one by one. While going through and inputting the data, I was quickly realizing that it would be easy to make a mistake, so I reached out to my buddy Mitch, and he is a guru with Excel and Google Sheets, and I had him help me make a quick spreadsheet that pretty much makes it easy for me to double check my work. After inputting all of the MAF sensor scaling information from Perrin into ROM Raider, I was able to copy the table out of ROM Raider and paste it in here. And I had him turn all the cells green as long as the numbers matched up with what the Perrin uh, MAF sensor scaling was supposed to be. So it's able to cross-reference not only the voltage but the um, actual MAF scaling. And now I know I am good to go. I got green lights across the board. It's time to go back into ROM Raider, save this as a new file, upload it to Open Flash Manager, and go flash it on the car. Okay, the scary part, it's time to flash the ECU after making the definition file changes. Fingers crossed it goes good. One more tip with the Open Flash tablet. On Amazon, you can get these right angle OBD2 adapters. It makes driving around with a tablet plugged in a lot easier, and it's a lot less uh, likely you'll knock it out with your foot, so really, good little hack, I guess you could call it, for about 10 bucks. Moment of truth. Looks like the world has not come to an end and it is time for a test drive and a log. I'll go do that and come back and report the results. Well, I made it back. The car didn't blow up, that's a start, but the results were not what I expected. With the parent mass scaling, I actually found that the car went to the opposite end of the spectrum and ran too lean. I went back and tested again 
but this time I used an unedited version 4.03 stage 2 plus E85 tune and re-logged to see what the difference would be. After reloading the tune and the car gets to reset its self-learning, I actually found the car is running pretty good again. It is still running a little rich. I'm seeing well under 12 AFR at full throttle, so it's about a half a point too rich. So what I ended up doing is just sending off a log to Open Flash Performance. I want to see what they have to say about it and they might even have some map scaling for this particular intake already sorted out but it was still a really fun experiment and I would encourage you guys to try it I mean it's kind of empowering to be able to get in there and make these small changes the cool thing is with the new version 4.03 tune there's launch control and flat foot shift and I'm kind of excited to play around with that um, flat foot shift I don't care about but launch control would be really useful at autocross so I'll have to figure out what the exact setting I'll want for that is but once I get that sorted out, I'll do a video and show you how to do a launch control RPM adjustment uh, and then one of the next videos maybe. Thanks for joining. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, subscribe to the channel. I'm having a blast. Until the next time, I'm Sean with The Driver's Perspective.